Bourbon County will always be a very special beer, but we, we wanted to make some more beers off that base. We said, what, what would be the, the biggest whale of all? What would be the coolest thing we could ever do? I'd known Julian Van Winkle from doing Whiskey Fest for many years in Chicago. Julian was somewhat of a legend, and especially for his 23-year-old stuff. And I said, Julian, what do you do with all those barrels? I said, why don't you give me those barrels next year? They were indicating the pedigree of the barrel, which is very progressive, and it's still kind of coming around. And in, in 2010, when they did that, Pappy Van Winkles weren't selling for 2,000 bucks in auctions in 2010. Forget, don't worry about regret and just trust me. So we got a hold of these Pappy barrels, and we said, okay, we're gonna leave them in there not for one season, but for two full years. When we ended up dumping those barrels, as great as Bourbon County was, this was different. This was velvet in your mouth. This was the creamiest, most luscious beer anybody had ever had, at least at our brewery. And we decided to release it on Black Friday, 2010. It was the, the day after Thanksgiving, really cold day in Chicago, and we had people lined up around the corner to get that first batch of Bourbon County Rare. The local news channels covered it a little bit. They were going down to like dive bars and asking people if they would ever pay 40 bucks for a bottle of beer. They thought we were crazy. Our question is, would you pay $45 for a bottle of beer? Hell no, get the hell out of here. If you tell me you, I'm gonna pay $45 of beer, I'm gonna tell you to kiss get the face, but I'll beat My sentiments cool, exactly. Cool. Well, I think it was gone in about hour and a half, maybe less. We did that once and I thought, there's no way we could ever top this. 23 year old Pappy Van Wieckel barrels, that's kind of the top of the list when it comes to bourbon barrels. If you look at the hottest American whiskey brand in the world, well, who was working with it five years ago before it was the hottest American whiskey brand in the world? Again, on it, know what's going on, seeing what, what, what's going on progressively in, in, in the whiskey world and combining that with with what BCS was doing. Again, you know, groundbreaking. I think that's about the, the highest uh, a experience uh, I've had as a beer drinker, drinking Bourbon County Rare. I think an older barrel could be really fun. The Angel's taken not just her share, but enough share for everybody up in the clouds. So I don't know what it's gonna taste like. It's gonna taste different though, that's for sure. A 35-year-old bourbon would be super tannic and super over-oaked, where the bourbon itself may not have been very enjoyable. The flavors that are still floating around in that barrel are probably uncommon, to say the least. It starts with an opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get this set of barrels that we never thought we'd have a crack at, that frankly we didn't know existed. To find 35-year-old barrels in a bourbon warehouse is not the norm. So it's not something we planned. It wasn't a special product or anything like that. And they came in and they looked, uh, I don't know, they're just dark and dusty and dingy and really shabby looking barrels. You know, some of them were from you know, the time around when I was born. Go if you gonna go. Stay if you wanna stay. I mean, they're special casks. You need to do something special to showcase these things and what they can bring into the final product. The obvious thing to do, of course, is to fill them with BCS and let them sit for as long as we can. We wanted to pay tribute to the previous rare uh, and that concept of a longer aged beer in the barrel. And then the aging time of two years really lets the beer come over the hill and just become very sublime and deep and incredibly well integrated. As you would imagine, it's a woodier, it's oakier. It is Bourbon County Stout, first and foremost, but it is distinct. These barrels provided a different character. Would I say that you could find them again? Probably not, but I would never rule it out. It's 1.2 million barrel spaces, so you know anything can happen, but uh, I just 
can't imagine we've got a bunch more of these barrels sitting out there. I don't think we'll ever see a truckload of those pull up here ever again. So it's, it's very special. And it'll probably be the only time we ever do it.